Hello, this is David Birch at StarPath School of Navigation with a short uh, demonstration of the use of the uh, StarPath eNav trainer, which is a GPS and AIS simulator. And we will use here uh, Coastal Explorer, and we're running a vector chart. Uh, this is uh, just, uh, just around the corner from Point Wilson in the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And so I want to uh, first set check on the program, go to options, and then these are the alerts. So we have it set up. So uh, we get an alert whenever the depth is below uh, shallower than four meters, and whenever the the uh, look ahead uh, detects an obstacle. And I've said look ahead for six minutes. And then we also have the projector. Uh, the COG projector on the vessel set for six minutes as well. Then that's using uh, audio device uh, here. But here's a key point to see the uh, to see these uh, vector chart ENC warnings. Uh, we have to turn on the uh, voice alerts. So we check that box. So we're good to go. Now we have the simulator on. The boat is anchored. Uh, I'm here looking at the controls, so the boat is unanchored. I mean, is anchored. So I'm going to pick up, uh, pick up the anchor now, and then put some way on. I'm using these controls. These are set here. You can actually control the boat from. Uh, you can show this uh, in your phone or tablet or another computer or another screen. So now let's just uh, turn left. I'm just going to turn left a lot. Let's just do something. Let me just turn left a whole lot here. So the boat's turning. We're not moving very fast, but we're moving. Oh, here's the speed heading. See, there's no current. We can, we'll come back and do another example. What's more interesting when there's actually current here, when you're not going the direction you're pointed. But for now, we're going the direction we're pointed. I'm just going to turn this around and head to the beach for the time being. And see, this depth contour here, this is a vector chart, and we have the safety contour set at 4 meters. Uh, the, so that's why this line is bold compared to this one and this one. So here we're turning around. Let me just turn around. And now I'm headed down towards the beach, right, uh, here. So this one, and it's set to warn at six minutes, and here's six minutes position here. So let's just crank up the speed a little bit, and we should get a warning on that. There's five knots. Oh, bang, we should get a warning now. Shallow water, 1.8 meters. And uh, that, that's been set up. I set this up to give that audio alarm every 10 seconds. Shallow so, water, 1.8 meters. Okay. So Ahead. That's, that's, so that's all working, and let's see the simulator is a very nice way to test this. I mean, shallow water, 1.8 okay, meters. Yeah, just pick that one ahead. Up. Now let me turn around to the right. Um, oh, we're not moving very fast, but I'm going to turn around to the right and see if I can hit that uh, patch. See if it'll warn me of that patch of water that's out here on the right. So I'm just turning around to the right, maybe pick up the speed a little bit. Okay, now I'll keep turning to the right. See, now that's six minutes, so that's where the boat's going to be in six minutes. So right there, it looks like if that's, uh, okay, come down a little bit, drive down. Okay, now I'm in, uh, heading into uh, an area that I've set up as a warning. Now that you have to set up this, the, the coordinates and the contours and so forth to match your own uh, vessel. But as a test here, this is set to four meters. Now let's just speed up a little bit just to make that a little longer. Turn down a little bit. Now see, when that hits that, that should give me a warning that we're headed towards that, uh, they're going to hit that uh, shallow water. Shallow water, 1.8 meters. And, ahead. Yeah, and sure enough, it did. Okay, let's turn uh, to the. Oops, I'm in the other direction. I want to turn right. Shallow water, 1.8 okay. meters. So I'm I'm totally ahead. Safe. I'm totally safe of that water now, but I want to uh, um, come up here. This is another obstruction. Well, 
is an obstruction. I don't know. It's a buoy. I don't want to hit a buoy. So I uh, just bang, bang. Did I hit it? Buoy ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's ahead. So that's six minutes. So that's like five minutes we're going to hit that. So that's the main thing. The main thing I wanted to buoy you know, ahead. illustrate uh, the virtue of the simulator for doing uh, these tests like that.